Hey guys, welcome to Tech Talk. It's Ankit Kumar. As you can see on my screen, I have created one Stack Navigator using React Navigation Stack and React Navigation Native. I have created four screens. As you can see here, Home screen, Notification screen, Profile screen, Settings screen. I have built this application onto my Android and iOS virtual devices. If I navigate to my application, it will show you four screens. As you can see here. If I click on go to notification, it will go to notification. If I click on go to setting, it will go to setting. If I click on go back, it will go back. Then again go back, go back, back to home. Same on Android. Go to profile, then click go to notification, click go to settings, click go back, go back, go to notification, go back, go back, go back to home. What we are building today, let me just show you. I'm typing command here npx uri scheme open demo app profile 234 on ios you can see this command here it's npx uri scheme open demo app profile 234 on ios if i run this command it opens profile screen onto my ios device with deep link id 234 because i have passed id here 234 if I pass something else, for example, 1000, it should show 1000. Right, it is showing 1000. Now let me run the same command for Android. Deeplink is working on both the platform, Android and iOS. If I go to another screen, say notifications, Android has moved to notification screen. If I run this command for iOS, it should navigate to notification screen. Yes, it has done. I can go to settings screen as well. So it's going to settings. If I run again profile for iOS with ID 102, it should go back to profile with ID 102. URI scheme commands for testing your deep link I have provided into description box. So you can find all these commands into description box. Let's not waste time start coding. Before jumping into code, let's understand basic of deep link. What is deep link? A deep link is a link that takes you to the content. Deep linking is when a link sends users directly into a specific point in the app experience rather than an external website or a home page. Most web links are usually deep links. Deep link basics. There are three kind of deep links: Android app links, iOS universal links, and URI schemes. Let's understand a bit of all of them. Let's start with URI scheme. URI scheme were the original form of deep link for mobile apps. They are like creating private internet for your app with the links that looks like demo and path to content. Advantage of custom URI scheme is they are easy to set up. Disadvantage is a user's device only knows about this private internet. If corresponding app is already installed, there is no graceful fallback option by default. Means if application is already installed on your phone, then only this custom URI deep link will work and open the target application. If application is not installed, there is no fallback by default. Universal links. Apple introduced universal links in iOS 9 as the solution to the lack of graceful fallback functionality in custom URI schemes. Universal links are standard web links, for example, http google.com, http mydomain.com, http ankitkumar.dev, that point to both a web page and a piece of content inside an app. When a universal link is opened, iOS check to see if any app installed on your device is registered for that domain if so app is launched immediately without ever loading the web page if not web url will be loaded in safari what is android app links google built app links for android and it's equivalent to ios universal links a standard web links that points to both web page and a piece of content in app this results in smoother user experience on Android also. 
Since custom URI schemes are still fully supported by every version of Android, applings have not been so much popular. It has very low adoption. Let's now jump to the code. Let's now start coding for DeepLink. I'm starting my project from scratch. In my code, I don't have any DeepLink right now. It will not open anything here. And I'll start it from scratch now. We will first set up DeepLink configuration on native part of iOS. So open your project folder. Inside your project folder, go to iOS folder and open DeepLink xWorkspace file. Once you open your Xcode project, click on project, then choose target, go to info. On the bottom, you will see URL types. You need to add URL scheme as demo. Since our DeepLink scheme is demo, add demo and identifier is project name. You can see here or project name here or target name. It has been added. Save it. Go to appdelegates.m file and on the top of this file, add and import react rtc linking manager dot h and at the end of file you need to add one function that will open urls from deep link type open url options add this line return rtc linking manager application application open url url options options this will allow to open react native applications to open this url which has been received from deeplink and close your xcode go to android project traverse to android manifest.html file we need to add new intent filter here add new intent filter which has action as view category as default and browsable add data host as app and scheme as demo so we have covered Android and iOS native changes for DeepLink. After completing native changes on Android and iOS, if we run DeepLink URL now, it will open our app, but it will not traverse to profile screen. Let's try this. So it has opened our app and it is on home. It is not traversing to profile page. As you can see, I have given profile deep link URL. We need to add some React Native code so that it can directly land to the profile page. Let's make some changes. Inside SRC folder, let's create one file called linking.js. Let's create config here for our deep link. It will have screens. const linking prefixes demo colon slash less app will be our prefix now our react native app will listen for this url and pass all the config for screens to the linking export linking so that we can use it now let's add screens so we have home screen path for home screen will be home we have profile screen path for profile will be profile slash id we will show some id passed by url deep link on the profile screen parse id from id as id we have notifications screen path for notification is noti and settings screen add setting as path for settings Now we have created linking config. Let's use it inside app.js. So import linking from linking and pass it inside your navigation container as linking. So linking is equal to linking imported from linking. Save it. And let's now try to run our application. Our application is running now successfully. Let's test whether DeepLink is working or not. 
npx uri scheme as you can see npx uri scheme open demo app notifications for ios this command should open notification screen on my ios emulator i'm just typing here and it should open notification screens yes it has open notification screen if i pass profile with 1020 value it should open profile screen and it should print 1020 as tplink id and yes it's working fine let me test it for android let's run android application as well Deeplink application is now running on Android. Let's try same command onto Android. I am opening profile page from Deeplink with ID 1023. So it should display 1023 as Deeplink ID on profile screen. And it's yet it's working. If now I open notification screen, it should open notification screen onto my Android application and yes it's opening that's pretty much for today's video and we have learned how to use deep link with react navigation native and react navigation stack if you have any question or any suggestion please type your feedback or suggestion into comment below please find the link from description if you find this video useful for you please like it share with your friends and subscribe thank you